Well, it turns out the Aussie dollar was on a trampoline, so it bounced back within hours of falling yesterday after the interest rate non-hike that was embarrassingly unpredicted by Australia's assembled economists. And then it did a bit of a somersault with Pike and is currently trading at exactly where it was before the RBA announcement. And the share market has drifted back to where it was yesterday morning. So apart from a few bits of broken glass on the road, you'd never know the accident happened. The dollar is now changing hands for 66.8 US cents and the All Ordinaries Index has closed 0.3% lower with banks and miners down. This is AMP's pipeline inflation pressure indicator in blue on this chart and it's collapsed to near zero, which helps explain why interest rates didn't have to go up yesterday. It combines commodity prices, shipping rates, price surveys and advertised salaries. Now, as you can see, actual inflation, the red line, doesn't always follow it all the way down, but it always does to some extent at least. And this chart is from a survey of global asset managers who look after 6.6 trillion US dollars worth of investments. A majority of them still think there's going to be a global recession within 12 months, but the good news is that the number who think that is declining. New York was closed last night for Independence Day and Asia markets fell today and commodities mostly went up, but not much. And that's finance.